Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the Blue Honor Vlog. I'm Kay Williams, author of Opdak Operation Deceit, the Trilokia Trilogy, and the Civil War novel Blue Honor, for which my blog is named. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about um, the question that came in. What do you look forward to now that it's spring? Um, Uh, as you know, I live in the Northeast, um, upstate New York, and it can get pretty bitter cold here through the winters, and uh, it doubles down through the end of January through February, and then March starts to come in. Um, you start getting like little hints of spring and stuff are coming, and you'll get some warm days, and then you get these windy, windy, freezing cold days, and it's like it's a huge tease and um, now that it's April it's it's a lot better it'll be rainier in April you know April showers bring me flowers um, but the thing that um, I, I look forward to several things which is the nicer days the sunshine uh, it can be pretty gray through the late fall and winter here in New York and I've noticed that I was tracking days and this past January we only had two days of sunshine so that that was a little rough I mean sitting here working from home and every day is like you know London fog <laughs> and it was just like oh my god the winter wasn't so bad you know as I said I'm working from home you know I, I don't have to worry about too much um, like I normally do which is like driving in in terrible conditions the the slick roads and the snowstorms and stuff um, those days I would just keep my daughter home and and work with her around uh, just to keep everybody safe it, it's not worth risking your life and it can be pretty pretty dangerous um, other drivers really push themselves I think they have four-wheel drive and that's the answer to everything and then they find out that they can't stop or they're whipping around you people have you know balls whatever they think that they're you know God's greatest driver ever and you know they're pushing up on your bumper and it's just a lot of rudeness and stuff out there and it's like I'm sorry but do you see the snowstorm happening outside and even though I have snow tires on and all season you know everything is I have actual snow tires on my front wheel drive vehicle and I'm sorry I'm not I'm not willing to risk my life or my property so that you can get to work you know a minute faster because that's about all that you're going to get to work faster. So maybe get up earlier instead of harassing other people on the road. But anyway, that's that's one of the other things that I look forward to is not having to drive in these storms. But we do get some some epic rainstorms too. Uh, winds blowing. Um, like in March, my my back door got ripped off the hinge <laughs> from the wind. So it was it was pretty massive. Um, it can be very bad. Um, t-shirt weather is coming so I'm excited about that I have like a huge collection of t-shirts and I like to wear them this one is my crush t-shirt and it says have a crush on me across the back um, so I really love my t-shirts um, probably more than Sheldon and Big Bang Theory um, the thing that I look forward to the most is getting outside and planting my garden. I do love to plant a garden, whether it's just flowers or whatever, and I love to grow my tomato vines. And, you know, I have them everywhere in the backyard because I've planted them so many seasons. They just come up now automatically. <laughs> and I'm like, yeek. You know, so I'm covered in, like, cherry tomatoes everywhere. And it's like, really? Why couldn't the bee steaks come up, you know? great big tomatoes and it's like the cherry tomatoes are great for the salad especially being fresh and last year I started adding them to my sauce so some of them are yellow um, some of them get like that really deep flavorful red and they just made an awesome sauce and then I would put like some summer squash in there and it was just so fantastic and I really look forward to that that's more summer when I can start harvesting that but um, I'm looking forward to putting them in the ground and watching them grow and getting my flowers. I love the flowers. I love the colors. I love to plant and grow things. And, you know, sometimes, you know, the best friend thinks I'm like poison ivy, red hair, <laughs> out there talking to my plants and taking care of them and yelling at the dog for trampling over them, you know, because he does his zoomies and stuff. Yes, I'm talking about you. 
So that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most is my flowers in my garden and getting that that set and the birdies singing. I get little wrens in the backyard, which are, they're so cute. They're like these little guys and they just have a beautiful song. And they're actually important in Celtic mythology, which I think is hysterical. <laughs> so they're in my backyard. Yeah, they follow me all the way, you know, from England or whatever. <laughs> They follow the family and they're still following us. Ah. But yeah, definitely um, just the spring things, you know, the warm, the sunshine, the flowers. It'll be nice. Um, it's relaxing, stress relieving, and you know, feeding the chippies and, and the squirrels and stuff. And my blue jays, the peanuts. My blue jays come and they take like all the peanuts in their beak. It's hysterical. They like come in a flock. It's like they know I've been out there with the peanuts again. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely what I look forward to. So keep the questions coming. I enjoy answering these a lot. Um, as you know, you can look at the blog if you're looking for like something to ask. You can look through the topics on there if you want. Or you can just ask me something about the books and I'll answer that. Or anything about writing. Um, like if, if you have questions about writing experience, etc and stuff like that. I like to talk about that too. So please come back next time. I will see you next month. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe too. Click that button down there. That really helps me. Thanks.